This is MathGuide.com. My name is Mark Karadimos. Today we're going to take a look at how to calculate the volume of a pyramid. So uh, we have a pyramid here. This pyramid happens to be a square-based pyramid because the bottom is a square. Uh, however, the formula that I'm going to be using for this problem could be used on any type of pyramid. Okay, it could be triangular based, it could be rectangular based, the same formula works. All right, so what's the formula? Well, the formula for calculating the volume of a pyramid is area of the base, B, that's the big B, times the height divided by 3. Okay, so that's the formula we're going to be using. Uh, we also have to have some given information uh, you know, for the specific uh, dimensions of the pyramid we're dealing with. All right, so let's say our given information is this, that our height is 12 meters, and let's say the length of the base, S, is equal to 10 meters. All right, well, uh, if we're going to deal with this scenario, you should understand where these distances are in the diagram. So the height is how tall the figure is. So that means from the base to the height, to the top of the uh, pyramid where all of these edges come together. Uh, you know, if we draw a segment from this point so that it's perpendicular to the base, that would be our height. Okay, so we're going to say that this is a perpendicular. So this segment, although it's a bad drawing, let's assume it's a segment, and it's the height, which is 12 meters. Okay, so there's the height, drawn in blue. All right, so our side is different. So the length of the side, since this is square base, that means that all of these segments that go around the base or bottom of the figure have a distance or length that's equal to 10, 10 meters. So the distance they're referring to is this distance right here. Okay, so that distance going across is the side. Okay, traditionally we label that with an S. All right, well, if we're going to calculate, uh, the, we're going to use the formula, we first have to figure out what's the area of the base. So since this is a square-based pyramid, it's going to be pretty simple. It's just 10 times 10, right? So it's just side times side. So I'm going to take 10 meters times 10 meters. And you can see that the area of the base is, well, meters times meters is meters squared, right? So anytime we're dealing with an area, we're going to have square units. So now we could calculate the volume by taking the area of the base, 100 meters squared, times the height. Well, we already have the height of the pyramid is 12 meters. And we're going to divide it by 3 because that's what the formula tells us to do. All right. Well, I know that 3 goes into 12 four times. So this is like taking 100 meters squared times 4 meters, and you can see that our volume is going to be 400 meters cubed, right? So meters cubed uh, is the result of taking meters squared times meters. And there you have it. There is the volume of this pyramid. So this is easier than surface area. You do not need to use this, the slant height. You just need to know what the height of the figure is, the area of the base, you multiply them and divide by 3. All right, so make sure you go back to mathguide.com. Check out our other instructional videos, our interactive quizzes, and our text-based lessons. Take care.